This is the Carnivore Lab Station 8, starting with Felity, the cats. I'm not actually going to show you a domestic cat, though. I'm going to start out with one of our Michigan species, a bobcat. So like other feliforms, they're going to have fewer cheek teeth than caniformia. And cats are actually the most difficult to see. You can't really visualize the, um, the divided bully that you can see in most feliformia. But cats are fairly distinctive. They come in multiple sizes, so they might be uh, as small as some of the smaller families you're about to see, or they can be even bigger than the hyena. This is our tiger. And I ask you about what makes Felidae so unique. And I'm just gonna grab the bobcat again. And I'm really asking about the shape of the skull. So think about the shape of the skull. The tiger actually has a large enough sagittal crest that the shape actually uh, isn't as round as you would see in most felids. So, felidae. Moving on to herpestidae. And this example that you're going to see is a meerkat. This one's very excited that it's getting to show you its skull. Again, another feliform. And what I wanna point out is this foramen right here. Let me find it. Uh, this hole that's leading into the bully. So I think you can see it really well uh, from this frame. So this is her pestity, and you can see some of the striations in the bully. Very distinct subdivision there. And then we move on to the Veridae. The example you're looking at is the Gannett. So again, we see a subdivision in the bully. It's less extreme. But what you don't see in the Viverid is that really distinct foramen leading into the bully that you do in the herpestid. So herpestid, viveridae. And that was station eight. That wraps up the rest of our, our filiformia. So it was these three families and hyena day.